About 10 years ago, Mike challenged me to make a model car out of paper. Whatever car I chose, but only out of construction paper and tacky glue. I chose the McLaren P1, which was still a concept vehicle at the time. He advised me how to make the 3D parts with paper and glue, but the crafting was up to me. I started with plan view and side view templates and use those to create the 3D shapes to create the full car. I even carved a car out of a chunk of pine. This was the result, which I realize is far from accurate and perfect, but it was an accomplishment for me. It took a lot of time to complete, but I became uniquely bonded with the car during that process. We followed the designer of the iconic P1, Frank Stevenson, on Instagram and YouTube and he posted that he was going to be in Vegas for CES. Frank has designed many prominent vehicles, which you can see in more detail on his YouTube channel, the Mini Cooper, the Ferrari F430, that Ford Cosworth spoiler, the BMW X5, the Fiat 500, the Maserati MC12, and of course, the McLaren P1. Well, we did see Frank. And we did get to talk to him. And we did take up over an hour of his time at CES. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. Oh, you don't have to wait for me. You're a welder? My name is Mike. This Hi, is my Mike. wife, Hi. Megan. Hello. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Are you a welder? Yes. Yeah, I, mean, I love welding. Whoa. We live here. <laughs> okay. We started out. Um, basically drag racing motorcycles. I build the bikes, she races them. So, you know, oh turbo high are, are you serious? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, oh my god. <laughs> I'm getting, what kind of fuel do you put in your bike? Well, uh, MR12 whenever I'm at the track. So. And you're on a Hayabusa engine? Actually, I'm in a GSXR 1000, GS so, Gixxer. but it's uh, tuned and, you know, there's a map and stuff in it. Do you know where I can get a 124 top fuel dragster at the moment? Because that's the biggest, actually, yeah, the biggest scale I can find of a top fuel. Because I want to re uh, redesign a top fuel dragster. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're, they're, 124th scale. Well, that's the that's the biggest scale I can get. It. Usually, I want to work at 118th if I'm mm -hmm. just redoing it. They don't we'll, make we'll, it in 118. We'll look around in town to see what we can find. Yeah, we I look here. Oh my gosh! If you ever find out, I'll give you my. I'll give you my. Okay. Actually, I came to give you a gift. We figured out who you are. are you working out or what? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> So when when everything shut down for COVID, I just yeah. I, I've been planning to I planned to, to build a car from the ground up, frame, body, and my background is architecture. That was what I went to college for. Dropped out, did bodybuilding, race bikes. We got married, and so <laughs> checking your calves because if you don't have calves, you're not a bodybuilder. No, they're definitely there. I, I know. <laughs> I know. Yes, you've seen them in the picture. Yes. 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 Thank you yes. for not neglecting them. Yes. Oh, yeah, that's, my, that's, that's what keeps me alive. Right. Yes. So we've been following you on YouTube. Were you here too. last week at the MGM for the Olympia? Yeah. Well, yes. we were. We have yeah. we have friends in town. That he that was two weeks ago. Sorry. Yes. 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 So yeah, you actually we were here for the uh, yes. expo. Yeah, we were here for the expo. In this very hall for the expo. Were you here for that too? No, it's my life oh. dream to go. Oh. It's on my bucket list since I was a kid. You? I've got abs. You can't see them. I've got we've, abs. We've watched, you? I've watched you work you out. Yes. Oh, yes. On YouTube. Yes. And on Instagram. Yes. Really? Absolutely. Yeah. You're, you're famous. Yes. <laughs> Her my favorite car. car. My favorite car. Which is the one. You are the one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. He had me make one out of paper. So I did a 3D out of paper. Oh my gosh. That's it like folded in. Yes. Oh my. More like a Lamborghini there. Construction. Yeah. Construction paper and tacky glue. Yeah, drag race. She, she drives. Or ride, you don't drive. You ride a motorcycle. Yes. You don't. The bike stands up by itself. The wheel is. I mean, I don't know what you run on a, on a GSX, right? Um. Well, I, the bike is capable for like a low eight, probably. Low eight. Um, You're running yeah. a wheelie bar in the back. No, it's an extended swing arm, so that's oh, what he makes. Long, much longer wheels. For yes. That. He's actually making me a longer one because I did a really big wheelie. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. High speed, yeah. yeah. Oh, I Let love drag racing. I really love it. Do you? Game. I'm a fanatic about drag racing, and I don't know anybody in the drag racing world. Oh and in goodness. Europe, nobody, well, we have drag racing at Santa Pod. Yes. Yes. 
Our I'm friends from uh, Holland actually were just here. And yeah, we racism. get a lot of Scandinavians that are the yes. best in Europe for that. Yes. They're running. used to be a dirt, a dirt bike rider. Oh, I did World Championships, yeah. In motocross. Right. When he was younger. Yeah. From the, There's a uh, film. Your documentary. Right. Film, yeah, you saw right. that? Yes. 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 You guys do know this. So we're. we're <laughs> I, I, my background, like I said, was architecture, so yeah. everything with design, and I lament not having gone to mechanical engineering to, to design cars. Yeah. I eventually ended up doing it on a so very amateur getting level. Your, getting your hands dirty. Yes. Yeah, that's yes. the way to do it. So, you probably know more than most people know. <laughs> I tell you, well, that's the way you learn, isn't it? I wanted to bring you a gift. I'll get it. 3D printed? Yes. I built this actual car. It's in our garage here in Las Vegas. And it has a turbo Hayabusa engine in it in the rear. And is this so, the car? This is the car. I drew it in CAD. My, my frame, the body, it's all drawn in CAD. Where do you place the engine? In the back? In the mid? Right, mid behind, right behind the second. So this is the center seat. seater? Yeah, two tandem seats. Yeah, and they're yeah, in the center. One back there. Oh, no, yeah, the other seat? We didn't cut the. the uh, yeah, all of the supports are still in it. But yeah, tandem seat. <laughs> and so right under the cover is where the. Wait, wait, wait. You say tandem seats right behind this one? Yes. Oh, okay. So the head for the passenger would be under that little counter. So how does the door open? Do you climb up? You, the door opens and you climb in through the back? It's, 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 it's uh, the, the, the height of the car is a little over 43 inches. That's a couple so you just, inches. just step this. over the door rail. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Here? Yeah. So the so the that the, the height of that wall is about forty three inches. Yeah, the overall height is about forty. So that's just around the four GT. Uh, yeah, what do you call it? Yeah. Four GT, right? The wheelbase is about like a, a modern Corvette, like a C eight Corvette. So brand new platform? Huh? Brand new platform? Yeah, I, I so built, built the frame. Yeah. Control, Control arms. What, what kind of material do you use? Mild steel. Mild steel. Just mild steel yeah. and, and, and made sure to uh, rust proof anything in terms yeah. of you know we live here in the desert. So what kind of uh, arms do you use? I had to design my own. It took me six tries to get the geometry right. Yeah, if you don't make a mistake, you're not yeah. really moving forward. The uh, the drive is is chained because it's a high boost engine with a yeah. turbo. Yeah. Um, I use uh, little half shafts from like a Dodge Neon. Yeah. And then I have a center section that has the sprocket on one side, the rotor on the other. Yeah. And then it's just lined up with the engine. So that's Straight the drive. Yeah. Um, Can I ask you why you didn't supercharge it? The turbos are easier to get and easier to tune from okay, drag so racing. Like kits for it. Yeah. 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 So I, I, I made my own turbo kit and because we built a turbo bike. Yeah, like forced induction. Okay. Yeah, so plenum, the turbo, yeah. the header, all of that I had to make. Awesome. Yeah. Air to water intercool for the turbo. Are you allowed to drive it on the road? Once we have it tuned, we should be able to uh, tag it here in Las Vegas. Yeah, I think it's special license for it. special registration yeah. for it. I think they said that they'll categorize it based on the weight. So the car looks like, I'm, I'm guessing, estimating it's between 12 and 1,400 pounds. 12 and 1,400 pounds? That's a little bit, hold on a second. Divided by, good, yeah? And, yeah, very light. Yeah. Um, so what's your horse part of weight ratio? You know? If it's 1,200 pounds and the motor yeah. will be between 350 to 400 horsepower, okay, pretty mild, that's, that's quick. then yeah. it should be. <laughs> yeah. It's quick enough. Yes. Very yeah. much. Four pounds. What are you doing for headlights? LEDs. Okay, so you just find them off the shelf and put them in there? Yeah. And taillights the same? Yes. Yeah. So all I did was basically keep the entire high loose bike. Right. I, I cut the harness and extended so that everything didn't have to be with the motor. shop or something where you're doing In my garage. I, I installed a lift in our little two-bedroom home in the two-car nice. garage. Yeah, yeah. We have a little AMG GT that we park under it in, the, in this a car. little AMG GT? Yeah. GTS. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's a low, it's, you know. Yeah, it's <laughs> But um, the, um, yeah, I just, I, I store that above it. And yeah. so I pull the car out and work on it in the garage. I have a welder. Everything that we do is literally. Well, the reason I, when I saw a welder, if you're a real welder, my gosh. The welds, I, I love welding. I'm not good at it, but I, it's like an art. When I see somebody who knows how to weld, it's like looking at, if you appreciate that Very kind of much. stuff, most people don't even know what they're looking at or like appreciate a good weld. Yes. But, and there's somebody, you know, TIG and Argon, all the gas welds. That's what he does, too. Yeah. So, uh, congratulations. You gotta have a good hand, concentration. It's, it's Very an much. art. For me, it's I've always said not just design something just to add another product to the market. You should design it with some kind of innovation or new technology to it because otherwise you're just adding to another mountain of stuff that's already it's out one there. one more option. You need a unique selling point when you design something like that thing there. It's, it's as safe as it gets. And nobody else. Everybody's going to have to play catch up now. When this comes out, which is now, every major 
top brand manufacturer will have to go back to the drawing board if they want to compete. So that's an added selling point, right? It's expensive, but you're getting, you know, for your baby, it's not it's not too expensive. So, right. So anything I've ever tried to design, P1, it was the first car with a lot of stuff that the engineering team, when they looked at it, they said, you can't do that, you can't do that. Yes, you can do it if you put enough brain power into it and think hard enough. And we came up with a lot of unique stuff for that. You know, the intakes were uh, on the side of the car. We just rammed the air right in. The shoulders were wide enough, bodybuilding, that we could actually put an intake straight into the shoulder and get the air fully right without having to divert it or change direction, slow it down, just push it right into the radiators. Uh, created a lot of downforce with the diffuser. In fact, most ever at that time for the road car. But I, yeah, that's probably, I mean, the other thing is you have to add an emotional aspect to the design, which is hard to define it, but it means love at first sight, pretty much. I'm sure when you met her, it's like, oh my gosh, yeah. It's not like, I'll wait six months to figure out if I like her or not. <laughs> that's not a relationship, right? You got to either have the hots for it when you see it at the beginning, exactly. and then get to know it and fall deeper in love. Exactly. If that doesn't happen right away, um, you're missing something, I think. So that's quite important. You, know, you don't want to convince. You don't want a salesman to have to sell your product. You want somebody just to go, I want that. I don't care. I, you know, just I expose it and let people gravitate yeah, yeah. toward it. Sales, everyone has. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. There was a Car and Driver article about the P1. Yeah. And the biggest compliment I think anyone could give you was that they said they looked at it and it, and it because of the shapes and, and the way the air fed yeah. in and out, they said it looked like it was designed with alien technology. Yeah, well, <laughs> I just finished this. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty cool. It's going to be in Formula One. They're coming here, too. I know. Las Vegas. <laughs> are they going to go down the strip? Yes. 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 What do they do when they get to the end of it? They so turn around and come back? Strip, or? It's just like a section of it. Oh, so, it is? Yeah, okay, okay, good. Sand. So it's only like a couple blocks. It's a long straight, I heard, from Formula One. Yes. yes. That part. Right in front of the Bellagio. Yeah. Oh They're going to have to repave all that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I looked at that yesterday. Yes. I was like, have to. Have to. <laughs> have to. They have to. <laughs> and they'll probably have to repave it every year because of the traffic. Yeah. 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 It'll probably have to be They're already out. starting. To, when, is that, that's this year, right? Yes. This, this November. Yeah. November. Okay. There's a street east of the strip that will complete the basically squared shape layout. Uh, so okay. this street that's east, they're building an entire, what do they call it? The Welcome Center Pavilion, I think is what it's called. The Welcome uh, Pavilion. This will be where like the pit garages yeah. are and yeah. everything. Yeah. So they're basically... Well, that's what they're building now. That's right that big now. spot where they're yes. still welding up and everything. Yes. I saw that. I was wondering, maybe this that's moving fast. Yeah. They have yeah. to, yeah. 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 It's, it's the, so we were like, well, maybe we have to go to Texas or Montreal. Miami. And they came to us, or Miami. Yeah. And yes. they came here, and we found yeah. out that the prices are like higher than Monaco. Yes. <laughs> to get well, to yes. Higher. higher than Monaco. Yes. <laughs> it's not every day you see Frank Stevenson in Las Vegas, <laughs> but we did, and it was an awesome experience. And Frank, we are really sorry for taking up all of your time. But thank you for your time. Wow.